Hey guys, I want to talk about if it fits in your macros. If it fits in your macros. Now, you'll have to excuse me. I am sick as a dog. I got bags under my eyes. I feel like crap. Got a bad cold. So if I sound like crap, forgive me. So, guys, there's a lot of chatter out there about if it fits in your macros. Most of this chatter is coming from young dudes who still have... Uh, Superb levels of hormones, testosterone, insulin, all that good stuff. I'm going to give you some wisdom from an old dude. Me, kids, 45 years old. An old dude who's stronger than most of these young kids. An old dude who deadlifts 700 pounds. An old du dude who uh, is bigger than most of the young dudes. An old dude who has been doing this for a very, very long time and wants to share his opinion on if it fits in your macros. Here's the thing, kids. When I was young, I could eat whatever I wanted. A lot of crap. I built some muscle. I built a lot of muscle on post-workout cheesecake and chocolate milk and Pop-Tarts and all that kind of stuff. It worked well when I was old. It really did. Or when I was young. It worked fine. As long as the majority of my food was, uh, you know, decent food. Um, you know, the 25 to 30 percent of junk, pizza, Pop-Tarts, all that kind of stuff didn't affect me one bit. I gained a lot of mass. I gained a lot of strength. But... A funny thing happened as I grew old, kids. When I started eating, when I continued to eat this crap, I would wake up the next day feeling like shit, kids. Feeling like crap. Feeling like junk. The older I got, the worse I felt the next day when I ate junk calories. So, what is the conclusion here, kids? What can we say b based on this information? What can we learn? It's sad, junk calories, crap calories with lots of, you know, uh, processed crap, sugar, flour, chemicals, nutritionally weak foods, they, you might be able to tolerate them when you're hormonally strong and young, but that doesn't mean they're optimal for your body. And, and age can tell you, age, age reveals that, okay? You can get away with those things. And your hormones in your youth might be hiding the fact that it's not optimal. But when you get older, you learn it's not optimal. Because you wake up the next day, kids, feeling like shit after eating that food. So, just because you're young and you, uh, you feel okay eating that crap if it fits in your macros, doesn't mean it's optimal. Wait until you're 45 years old and you, uh, you went to bed the night before eating Pop-Tarts and ice cream and nacho chips. You'll wake up the next day feeling like crap, kids. Feeling like crap. So, my advice to you is that it's okay to eat 10 to 15, 20% of crappy foods while you're young. You're going to build muscle. There's nothing wrong with it. You have a fast metabolism. Your hormone levels are good and all that kind of stuff. But you still want to eat a quality amount of nutritionally dense foods because even though it's giving you the appearance that everything is okay, this if it fits in your macros, it's still not optimal. Your body is still working. And the more crap you eat over time, the more it's going to impact you later in your life. It will catch up to you, kids. It will catch up to you. You might not think it will because you're young and you feel like you're going to live forever. But every little bit of extra crap you put in your body now is going to catch up to you. I know because I've lived it. So guys, eat a little bit of crap food. But just keep it under control at 10% in your life. And the rest of your foods, man, eat good quality nutrition. Good quality nutrition. And, you know, these debates about if it fits in your macro, if it doesn't, they're just stupid. They're really idiotic. If you ask me, they're really stupid. You guys are splitting hairs. Eat a few Pop-Tarts every now and then. Big whoop. But, um... You know, the more nutrition, nutritionally weak food you eat now, the more it's going to catch up to you later. And the more when you're 45 like me and trying to pull 700 plus pounds off the ground, the more you realize that when you eat that kind of crap, it really does impact you on a daily basis. So, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you have any video suggestions, guys, please leave them below as well, and I'd be glad to help. And, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.